two years, Scotsmen everywhere have sought an answer to the mystery of the Prestwick Airport. This great air terminus is the best equipped in Britain. In the war years, it was a vital transatlantic terminal. It has dealt with 73 planes an hour. It is the only fog-free airport in the British Isles. In spite of all this, Prestwick is not being used to the full by the Air Ministry or by commercial interests. Many Scotsmen believe that powerful interests in London are determined that Prestwick should not continue as an airport. Every facility exists there. In 1946, 46,000 travellers passed through the airport, most of them after their aircraft had been rerouted from fog-bound English airfields. Prestwick's administrative offices, maintenance sheds, meteorological stations, hotels, could foster a thriving Scottish industry. At the moment, only 15 or so planes a day are regularly routed to Prestwick. Britain is not so rich in airfields as to afford this waste. This important issue is being considered by the newly appointed Scottish Air Advisory Committee. They may decide that if Prestwick is good enough for emergency use, it should also have its fair share of future air prosperity. 1947 may, at long last, solve the Prestwick mystery. Scotland demands that this should be done. <laughs> 